Good morning everyone and welcome to Katso in the Morning! Today's guests are a mixture of brave generals and cowardly party leaders. Let's start the show! For complete understanding of the nature of Big Brother, the party, double think and Ingsoc. Let us welcome political scientist and intelligence officer, Dr. James O'Brien of Oceania's Inner Party. Good morning. How are you, James? Good morning. I'm feeling a bit tired, a bit confused, but I feel great now that I've returned from my imprisonment in the Russian Gulag. So, can you tell me how you became so involved in Oceania's party? My memories of my early life have disappeared after I've been brainwashed back in 73. But before that, all I know is that I was not always a member of the inner party. I was in the outer party, but then after bringing up news on the death of the first supreme leader, Edward James Carter, I was brought to the Ministry of Love for speaking against Big Brother, then I was brainwashed to love the party and Big Brother. As a result of the tests I took to become normal and be loyal to the party, I was promoted to the inner party. So can you tell me about your work in the inner party? It seems like you're a mystery to a lot of others. Well, to be in the inner party is basically to preserve the party's rule by checking the loyalty of Oceania's citizen to make sure they stay loyal to Big Brother. For me, my job in the inner party is to make people, especially the rebellious outer party members, loyal to Big Brother by observing them and their thoughts on the party. And once I've studied them well, I will have them indoctrinated. Another thing I'm tasked to do is to create and engineer chemical and nuclear weapons to stop Eurasia's military threat. So what weapons have you designed? Currently, I've designed cannons with chemical artillery and soundless landmines for the Ministry of Peace. I also have a degree in military science. This is what I studied before joining the inner party. And how did you end up captured by the Eurasians and imprisoned in Russia? How did you return to Oceania? Back in December 1984, the Ministry of Peace under General von Basten sent me and some of his men to spy on the new weapons of Eurasia, which were being set up in East Germany. Afterwards, some of Eurasia's troops ambushed the men with me and they captured me, bringing, them, bringing me to their general, Ivan Vasilyevich. He then ordered that I would be sentenced to prison in northern Russia. I had been left to rot and freeze in that gulag for nearly five months. One day, a Eurasian colonel with the name Zlatan came up to me together with an officer from the dreaded Brotherhood of Goldstein. It was not an old war veteran, but a pretty woman with red hair telling me I was crazy. All I could do was to say, winter is coming to warn the Eurasians of the Winter Battalion. Then the colonel knocked me off after being annoyed with me. I woke up the next day finding out the Winter Battalion had found me. The captain gave me shocking news that Winston had become Big Brother. But this brought my hopes up to return to Oceania, and soon enough, I was back home. Alright then, you have told a very interesting story. Mr. O'Brien, thank you for sharing it. Thank you too.